There was a time when the original Amplitude almost never left my PS2. Though I wasn't a hardcore at the game, it was enough for me to have a bragging right contest with my friends on who can get the best high score on synthesizer or insane difficulty. I fast forward 13 years later and developer Harmonic Studios decide to kickstart an Amplitude reboot for the PlayStation 4. Now straight off the bat I will say that this game is good. It does what it sets out to achieve and that being to replicate the addictiveness and competitiveness that the first game so dearly shined in. However, with that being said, you would expect the music rhythm beta game to have an outstanding soundtrack, though this game really doesn't. Which at the same time is hard to believe, especially when you consider Harmonix's list of past games with the likes of the original Guitar Hero, Rock Band and Hell, even Dance Central for that matter. Now from what I understand, the songs do come from some Kickstarter backers, which I commend Harmonix for implementing, but it wouldn't hurt to add in a few known tracks there too. The soundtrack is overall hit and miss. Though there are a few catchy songs here and there, the entire list is tied down to EDM, which I find to be a step backwards considering the diversity the original game had. In addition, some of the best songs aren't even in the campaign, weirdly enough. And that leads me onto my next point, the campaign. Though I wasn't expecting anything spectacular, the story is forgetful to say the least. Now, from what I understood, the story is about a girl who's in a coma and is undergoing an operation. The machines you control are used to eliminate the bad stuff inside her brain and to try to wake her up. Yeah, I'm not bullshitting. Now with that being said, if you're looking for a challenge then look no further. I noticed that the advanced difficulty setting is as hard if not harder than the insane difficulty setting in the original game, especially playing on the 130 plus BPM tracks. The game operates in the style of any rhythm beta game, however in addition to hitting the right beats you also have to change lanes to continue your streak. You have five lanes and each control is a different component of the song. You have drums, bass, synth, vocals and guitar. At the same time you get the odd power up here and there to maximise your score. The game runs at a very steady 60fps and the colours and visuals do showcase a nice light show and don't get in the way from the gameplay. Though I do find the drawback this game has is the multiplayer. Though playing full player couch competitive it is fun and all, you would think a game released in 2016 would at least have online multiplayer. This game is very bare bones when it comes to that aspect. Overall though it's a decent game, solid but not as solid as the original. I just don't feel the same need to go back and really nail these tracks like I did with the first game due to the issues. The game really only runs you for about £16 so I wouldn't say you're getting finessed, however it is a nice game to play if you have friends around. And with that being said, I'm going to give this game a three and a half stars. Thanks for watching.